Headline, Federal Government's Disobedience to Court Judgment Dangerous. Thank you for tuning in to the news, the news details. A recent report by the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, revealed that since inauguration in 2015, the President Muhammad Dubrari's administration has disobeyed many court judgments. During the public presentation of the report, CRAP's Deputy Director, Kolawale Oludare, highlighted some of the court judgments which his organization had secured against the federal government, but which no action has been taken to implement. According to him, the first of such judgments is the judgment by Justice Adiza Shagari delivered on July 5, 2017, ordering the federal government to tell Nigerians about the stolen asset it allegedly recovered, with details of the amount recovered. The second judgment by Justice Mohamed Idris on February 26, 2016, ordered the federal government to publish details on the spending of stolen funds recovered by successive governments since the return of democracy in 1999. The third judgment by Justice Oluremi Oguntoimbo on November 26, 2019, ordered the federal government to challenge the legality of state's pension laws permitting former governors now serving as ministers and members of the National Assembly to collect such pensions and to recover pensions already collected by them. The fourth judgment by Justice Mohamed Idris on May 28, 2018 ordered the federal government to prosecute senior lawmakers suspected of padding and stealing 481 billion naira from the 2016 budget and to widely publish the report of investigations into the alleged padding of the 2016 budget. The fifth judgment by Justice Chuka Obiozo on July 4, 2019, ordered the federal government to publish the names of companies and contractors who collected public funds since 1999 but failed to execute any electricity projects. These judgments and many others by the courts have remained unchallenged today, and the federal government has refused to obey them. Litany of other court judgments. Aside from the judgments enumerated by CIRAP, the federal government has also demonstrated a similar attitude toward other judgments and orders of the courts. For instance, on many occasions, the federal government refused to release former National Security Advisor, NSA, Sambo Dazuki, after the court had granted him bill. The federal government also refused to obey court orders granting bill to Ibrahim el Zakzaki, leader of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, IMN, and willfully disregarded the rule of law by continuing to detain him long after the court granted him bill. The federal government, in another instance, disobeyed the orders of the federal high court in Abuja on the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Unam Dekanu's bill and access by his legal team and family members. Justice Peter Inyako had, had to question the Department of State Security, DSS, on such disregard at the time. Yet, the situation remained the same. Syrup warns of consequences. Given insight of the implication of the federal government's continued disobedience to court judgments, Oluda will warn that the country stands at a dangerous point if such action is allowed to continue. He said, the failure and or refusal to enforce and implement legally binding judgments of the court is entirely inconsistent and incompatible with Nigeria's international human rights obligations. It is unacceptable to take the court 
which is the guardian of justice in this country for a right. A democratic state based on the rule of law cannot exist or function if the government routinely ignores and or fails to abide by court orders. The persistent and deliberate disobedience of judges decision would ultimately shatter citizens confidence and trust in the ability of the justice system to render justice for victims of corruption and human rights violations the federal government reacts addressing the issues raised by syrup the federal government recently took a swipe at the ngo accusing it of engaging in what is referred to as publicity stunts by bringing spurious suits against President Momo Dubarami, Senior Special Assistant to the President, Media and Publicity, Gaba Sheo, did not address the issue of government's disobedience to court, but rather said, despite filing numerous suits against the President of the country, the group has not managed to pursue any of it to the conclusion. He said, why syrup sponsors are unknown? It had continued to sue President Buhari over a range of issues, including human rights abuses. Federal government's action, dent on democracy, Obani says, reacting to government's apathy to court judgments, chairman of Nigerian Bar Association section on public interest and development law, NBA Spidel, Dr. Monde Uban said disobedience to court judgments by the federal government is a dent on democracy. He said, every government in Nigeria has always disobeyed court orders and trampled upon the rule of law with impunity. Our thinking was that Buhari's government that promised change would have been different, but that is not the situation. The present government has surpassed previous governments in disobeying court orders and trampling on the rule of law. We have lost count in the number of court orders they have disobeyed. In disobeying court orders, the present government does not do itself any good as the records are there for future use and will remain a permanent dent to those who operated our democracy within the time in question. They still have enough time to change their behavior and cleanse the negative image they have created for themselves in their penchant for disobeying court orders. The syrup came up and said that the government, the federal government, has always been disobeying the court order. Why are they disobeying court order? I think there is rule of law. Why are they disobeying the rule of law? Are they more powerful than the court's order? Are they too big to follow the court order? Kindly share your thoughts with us. Enjoy the rest of your day.